Fuck me. If I knew we was going to a bar mitzvah, I'd have brought me fucking skullcap. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, Tottenham's due north. Are you lost? Or just fucking stupid? Still a stand-up comedian, eh, Dunham? Oh, mate. You know, back when a major was doing your job, he wasn't nearly so chatty. Probably because he wasn't quite so nervous, either. <laughs> yeah, the major always preferred a scrap to your yammer. What's that? What is that? Yammer? What is that? You reckon? Yeah. Mate, I think you should get on the next train and fuck off out of here. Before something bad happens. Hey, Jubilee. Oh, yeah. The major will be interested to see exactly what that is. I mean, you're not exactly top-flight mob these days, are you? <laughs> hey? More like a two-bob mob. <laughs> See? Now, that's just plain rude. But, hey, if you fancy it, who are we to let you down? Oh, yeah, Come on, in, No, I'm telling you, you don't need Lewis. No, I know. Look, I will trade you Keyshawn and Maddox for Lewis, and I'm going to be losing out on this deal because Keyshawn, he's back with the uh, he's back with the old coach. He's back with Parcells, and they are going to be an unstoppable team. You know that. I know that. Hey, look, man. He was comeback player of the year. You know, not many guys have thrown over 6,000 yards. Come on, you don't... Oh, let me call you back. I gotta deal with something. Buckner. That's $10,000. I think it's a pretty good deal. We never had a deal, Jeremy. Look, I know you got screwed here. But I have my family's reputation to protect. I mean, a Van Holden getting expelled from Harvard. It's no way. I've got a little more at stake here, Matt. Buckner. Come on, man. You know, my dad is definitely going to get reelected. When I graduate, I'll totally hook you up. Thanks, bro. You're really saving my ass. desk of the Washington Bureau of the Times, and uh, we'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks so much.
My name is Matt Buckner. Last spring, I got kicked out of Harvard two months shy of my diploma. But what I was about to learn, no Ivy League school in the world could teach me. Tottenham was in town last night. Are you a soccer fan now? Oh, don't let them hear you say the word soccer. Who's them? British Empire. <laughs> <laughs> Uncle Matt, meet Ben. Can you believe that? Hey there, little guy. He's adorable. Yeah. It is so good to see you. But what are you doing here? Doesn't make any sense, Matt. Why would you have been expelled if you didn't do anything wrong? It was my roommate. He's a total coke. Somebody tipped off campus security and we got our room searched. They found his stash and my stuff. Guess he'd been hiding this shit in my closet the entire time. Really? Yeah, really. No, I mean, it's just, you know, you could tell me if you were taking it. It's not like that. So you fought it and they didn't believe you? Matt, you fought it, right? Look, you don't know who this guy is. He's a Van Holden. I wouldn't have had a chance. So what did Dad say? You've reached Carl Buckner. Oh, I'll be in the Ivory Coast for the next 57 years. Cobble this time. Oh, whatever. Seriously, though, when you spoke to him, what did he say? I didn't tell him. He doesn't know? Wow. Well, you know what? If I was you, I probably would have done the same thing. Yeah? I mean, once he finds out that his golden boy just got kicked out of Harvard, he'll probably dive at first into an empty swimming pool. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Oh, it's Steve's home. Hi, baby. Hey. I've got a surprise for you. Oh, honey, we had a guest. This Hi. is uh, my kid brother, Matt. Matt. Hi, mate. Hi. How you doing? It's good to finally meet you. Yeah, and you. You finally uh, made it across the pond, then, did you? Yeah. <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? Come here. <laughs> oh, I missed you. Come here. Yeah. I missed you, my little Lord Ben. Mm. Honey, you want some tea? Yeah, that'd be great. Ooh, tea, huh? Get over it. <laughs> it's a good-looking little geezer, isn't he? Yeah, it sure is. Listen, mate, I'm really pleased you're here, mate, but I kind of made some plans for tonight. I've got this whole romantic evening set up. I've got the babysitting books and we're going to 
Tickets to see Chicago? You wouldn't mind if we go, would you? Oh, excuse me. Surprise. What are you doing? Aye, aye. Aye, bruv. Jesus, Shannon. You look rough. You look funny, guy. Pete. <laughs> Matt, this is Pete, Steve's brother. Pete, this is my brother, Matt. Hey. Hi, son. Good to meet you. Well, Ben. And we'll stand till I die. Yeah. And we'll stand till I die. Yeah. I know I am. I'm sure right, I am. All right, all right. I'm taking him to bed. Hey. All right, babe. Mm -hmm. See you later, Ben. Well done. So what are you doing here? I thought you were going to the match. Well, technically, yes. But what's happened was me and the boys got into a bit of drinking session last night. One thing's led to another. Yeah, let me guess. You've lost your wallet. And my keys. Ah, there's a taxi outside. Top blow, my brother. So, how are we? My colonial cousin. Fine, thanks. Fine, thanks. <laughs> you bro, you couldn't make a hundred, could you? Yeah, how does piss off sound? Oh, fuck off! Come on. Get some drinks in. Get some drinks in. Get some shut drinks in. up. Just shut up. I'll tell you what I'll do, all right? I'll give you a hundred if you take Matt here to the match. Oh, fuck off. You're having a bubble. Bruv, you know I can't take a yank to football. Yeah, you can. And you're going to be on your best behaviour, do you understand? Go on. Well, come on, then. Cheers, mate. Don't get much time on your own. Right. Listen to me. You don't give him the money, okay? No way. Spare for the boys. All right. All right. Matt, where are you going? Uh, I'm going to the soccer game with Pete. But you just got here. I know, but I'll, I'll catch up with you later. Yeah. Have a good time. See ya. I don't want him hanging out with Pete and those thugs. It's all right. He's a big boy. He can look after himself, can't he? Big hand. Come on. The right hand? Mm hmm Just won the star prize. <laughs> yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> How much do you love me? A lot. That's not enough. Look, mate, I'm not being funny, but the last thing I want to do is take you to the match with me. So here's how it works. Give me half the money, I'll go to football, and you can have a wander around where Churchill took with Tom, or whatever it is that you Yanks do in Jolly Old. A Tom? A Tom. A Tom tit, shit. It's Roman slang. Like, bees and honey for money. Oh, I could say it to you. Give me the fucking bees. I made a promise to Steve. Well, Steve ain't here, is he, mate? I am. And to be honest, you're pissing in the wind if you think I'm taking you with me. Well, I'm not giving you the money. You ain't really got a fucking choice, mate. And you're starting to get on my tits. Give me half the money. Cops! <laughs> well, how fucking stupid do you feel now? Come on, then. Dance for me, Yankee. <laughs> Serves you right for fighting like a bleeding tar. But try that again, and I will kick the shit out of you. Yeah, the tar out of me, I get it. Get up, come on. So, I'm guessing you're not much of a fighter. A fighter? It's probably the first fight I ever had. You call that a fight? Fuck it. I will take you with me. You might learn something. About soccer? No, nah, mate. Not about soccer. And for fuck's sake, stop saying soccer. Come on, hurry up.
What are you talking about? Baseball is a girl's game. Well, the Red Sox have a guy that pitches a ball at over 90 miles an hour. Who cares? All that means is he can have a wank faster than her. Come on. Think about it. I just don't get it. What is it with you Americans? You start a fucking war, bottle it, then we have to come save your ass again. Let's save our ass? Yes. And then, on top of that, you kill off our soldiers in friendly fire. But that's called an accident. Yeah, accident my ass. <laughs> All right. You on, mate? Look. We're sort of going into my place of business, right? Shut up until we've spoken to you and you might have a better run of things. The only thing we guarded worse than a yank around here are coppers and journalists. What do you got against journalists? How long you got? The lying fucking scum who write anything just to fill papers. I mean, not your old man, of course. He's the exception, maybe. That's the point. These boys don't know about your old man. And if I was you, I'd keep it that way. Oh, Another man. thing. What you hear in here stays near, what? Right? No blabbing to brother Steve about how your day was or who said what. What happens at football stays at football, what? Right? Yeah, all right. Let's have some fun. It's football day. All right, Pete. Aye, aye! That's an average. We good? Yeah, good, yeah, good. How you doing, mate? Good to see you, right, boys? Pal. This is Matt, Shannon's brother. You got Ned? Sweet. Hey, Ned. Dave? Dave Biano, mate. Hey. Nice Swill? Good. Hello, Thank mate. Ike? Hey, man. The one with the dodgy haircuts, Keith. Thank you. I'll get the drinks in there. Yeah, cool. Well, I'll get a drink, Sid. I mean, I'm getting a drink, Sid. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. Don't you get pissed off all the time? Fine. Fine. What's the problem? He's been at a tight for about 15 minutes. Like dodgy Ruby or something. Down at Bengal last night. No, look, look, he looks lost. No, Ruby Murray, mate, it means curry. We call it cotton rhyme and slang. Slang. Yeah, like uh, bees and honey for money. Yeah, it's just it. Struggling grunt for cunt. Oh, you went dark. Why'd you go like that? I like a cunt. That's sip, Dick Ten. For you ain't. Hello. Hey, Bob. Hey, Bob. Hey, how you doing, right? Yeah, sure. This is Matt, Shannon's brother. Hey. Oh, That's the proper right. Yeah. He don't give a fuck, <laughs> though, does he? He's done with a fuck. Mate, he's practically found it. Oh, mate, he's fucking famous. <laughs> Bob's a miserable cunt. We love him dearly, don't we, boys? Yeah, yeah, Not a fucking brother. Oh, yeah, Matt, you know, brother's lost his password. Yeah, yeah, sure. Hey, Matt, while you're up there, get uh, some sort of clean out of Sure. Good boy. Well, come on. He's all right, man. Mm. Oi, what's with all the fucking babysitting? You know we had a meat set up for the day. Mm. It's all right, Bob. I'll just stay out the way. It's all right we didn't have it last night. What? It's not the bloody point, is it? We look like right mugs if we set something up and our fearless leader don't show because he's playing pin the tail on a fucking yank. Nah, no, he's right, mate. So he's got a point, mate. You let me worry about that, all right, boys? As for the yank, he's too modest to tell you. But back in the States, he's an internationally ranked double black belt in karate. Is he fat? <laughs> look at the size of him. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bloody karate kid film based on his exploits. No. Really? What, that yeah. Is yeah. Really? Yeah, it's true. Shut fucking straight. Up. Bollocks. Up. No way, no way. Bollocks. Up. Come on, why not? You're lying already. You've been here fucking five minutes and you're lying. <laughs> 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 Coach's name. Uh, 
Little Chinky, what was his name? Remember the Little Chinky? Was your oh, coach? Well, in, the, in the first one. All fucking three of them, for fuck's sake. Why weren't you in the fourth one? Why'd you let yeah, the side down? No, it was, it was about the I remember thinking, why the fuck weren't you in there? Yeah, but you weren't there, mate. You let the bird was in it. Remember that? I wanted it. Fuck that. Why weren't you in that fucking film? You let You let the side down. What was his fucking name? His a little, your mentor, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, his name. I mean, I mean you, you owe it all to him. I can't remember it. Miyagi! 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 Mr. Miyagi! Mr. Miyagi! He's based on a real person. What? He's based on a real person. He's based on a real person. That's fucking out of order, if you ask me. What is that? Did they pay him? Of course he got fucking paid. Imagine this. Just imagine the situation, right? I'm getting up, though. Listen seriously. Imagine the situation. Someone uses you in a fucking film. Right, so don't pay you, brother. Don't take the piss out of me. I'm, just, I'm talking. Oh. This is real stuff that I'm talking about. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Real, Mr. Miyagi! Yeah. Yeah. This is my yeah. yeah. song. This is our song. And raise the sky and love my dreams and pray and die. Fortune's always shining. I looked everywhere. Into the family, eh? Pete might be showing you a bit of courtesy. You've been Shan's brother, no? So get it straight. We don't like outsiders. All right. Pete, look, I'm gonna head home. I'm not feeling so hot. Jet lag. Oh, fuck off. You're not missing the game. You're the one who wanted to learn about soccer. <laughs> I forever fly with bubbles. bubbles in the air. Like fly so high. Like rings the sky. And I want rings. I find a dark. Watch country in the world. Keep your head down.
Fucking quality sound. Fucking tonight, Bob. Stuff of legends. You're all your gents' fault, didn't you, bruv? Ah, don't worry, I ain't over yet, boys. Word is these twats are gonna have a pop. What you heard? Ah, the usual. Fucking Zulus is like 50 or more of them mobbing up on the tube right now. It's gonna kick off near East Dam, so. Tough go then, boys. What are we standing here for? I don't understand. Fucking go then, bruv. Let's get them. Maybe I should head home. Yeah, yeah, you know where you're going. Back to Shans. Bank Station, right? Yeah. But keep your head down. Bloody Birmingham lot will be on the tube. Oh, that's all right, I'll manage. All right. For fuck's sake, we need to be better in a crash. Don't get on East End, right? If you see any trouble, just turn around, Come walk on. out the way. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Let's go, eh? Hey? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the young woman of the GSC? GSC? I don't know anything about the GSC. I'm just a tourist. Oh, well, in that case, how's about we leave you with a proper souvenir? <laughs> Ever heard of a Chelsea Green? Huh? Oh, come on, please. <laughs> Do you take American Express? <laughs> I bet the Major gave out his shares of Chelsea Greens back in the good old days, eh? Back in the days when the GSC weren't so slap till he went the wrong behind. <laughs> We don't leave our mates behind. You horrible bastard. No, he's getting away. Let's go. Come on. I'm sorry. I'll get the van. Where the fuck's he gone? Two foot small. Where the fuck is he? I'm getting too old for this shit. Seriously, I could use a beer and a lie down. <laughs> oh, yes. Get it out of first. Can't get it out of your mum. <laughs> Just the big finance side, right? Come on, lads. Back to the Abbey. Who's round it? Who's round it? Who's fucking right. round your pig ears? Oh, Jack, it's your round it, Ned. Come on, Ned. Come on, Ned. Oh, shut up, Molly. Oh, stinks. 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 Oh, stinks.
What fucking was up? You are a fucking maniac, man. Look at me. Fair play, son. There's plenty of wood a bottle there and done a run out of and you stood your ground. Good for you, I'm proud of you. Good. Who was he then? Who? Geez, you was just fighting. Oh, Jeremy Van fucking Holden. You've done yourself proud, mate. <laughs> well, now we've all stopped kissing each other's ass. He's got a point out. It's the first punch you threw. Yeah. A little bit on the feminine side. What? Bit gay. Little oh, Gary Grayson. Larry. Little bit. Larry Grayson. Come on. Larry 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 Come on. You don't want to get pinched. He's good. Let's push him up. Come on, son. Morning, sunshine. How'd you feel? Oh, a little sore. Ah, uh, English breakfast, double dose of aspirin. You feel sweet as a nut, mate. <sighs> yeah. I got a piss like a racehorse. Fucking journals. Look at this. West End wins 3-0 in a blinding performance, and our little scrap makes the headline. Bloody muckrakers. So, what is this? Bollocks, journal, bullshit. No, no, this, yeah. the GSE. Shh. Wow, son. What, are you guys, like an organized political movement or something? No, mate. We're a firm. You never heard of a firm in the States? No. What? Every football team in Europe's got a firm. Some have two. Christ, I forgot how clueless the Yanks are. All you've seen of us in the stadium rides on TV, innit? Come on. Here we go, love. Tuesday, Tuesday. See, West Ham football's mediocre, but our firm is top-notch and everyone knows it. The GSE, Green Street Elite. Arsenal, great football, shit firm. The Gooners. Tottenham, shit football and a shit firm. The Yids, they're called. I actually put their main lad through a phone box window the other day. What about Millwall? Ah, uh, Millwall. Where to even fucking begin with Millwall? Millwall and West Ham firms hate each other more than any other firms by far. Sort of like the Yankees and the Red Sox. More like the Israelis and the Palestinians. <laughs> we haven't played Millwall in ten years. Their top boy is this geezer named Tommy Atcher. Horrible old cunt. Back in the Majors day, Tommy's son was killed in a scrap. After that, he went completely mental. Lost the plot. Well, who's the Major? Ah, the Major. Quite a legend round here. He ran the GSC in the early 90s when I was coming up. Hardest bastard you ever saw. They say we kind of lost our way when he left. But believe me, my boys are bringing the old GSC reputation right back. So basically, firms are gangs. Kind of. But we're a far cry from all that Bloods and Crips bullshit. I mean, shooting a machine gun out of a moving car at an eight-year-old goat. That's just cowardly. See, we might be in a fight and all that, but it's really about reputation. Humiliating another mob in a row, or doing something that the other firms get to hear and talk about. Like a Yank in his first fight back when one of Birmingham's main lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll have to sit down. Thank you. Is that all right? Well, Pete, I don't know how to thank you for what you did for me. I'll give another four. Yesterday was a good result for us. We had a laugh, we had a few pints, cheered on the mighty Amers. We was completely outnumbered, but we stuck by our mates and we stood our ground, no matter what happened. That's what it's all about. Look at the fucking state of him. I don't fucking start, why? say to you, I said to you one simple thing, no trouble. It had nothing to do with me. He's walking home, he gets jumped. Bruv, he's lucky we was there. Yeah, that's right, Pete. I mean, you're a real hero, aren't you, mate? And you saw the old thing from your sofa, did you? Tell you what, bruv, you concentrate on your family and leave my business to me, all right? My family? What is it with you? What is it with you, Hey, Do you want Mum to come and visit you and Nick? Is that it? Maybe you want the plot next to Dad. Oh, my God. Man, what happened? Shannon, I'm fine. Can't you see what you're doing to this family? Oh, I see. He's a scared old man. Don't say something like that! Get off him! You've got the wrong idea! Stop! 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 Stop!
Well, that weren't the smartest of me tonight. But thanks, yeah? Fancy a pint? Oh, come on. You're the one's got to buy the bleeding thing. <laughs> Get your cash out. The fat bird's about to sing. So you still got the dough? You got it? Yeah, dough. He's got a fucking hard shot. Jesus, you two joined at the fucking hip or what? Leave it out, Bob. It's getting old. Nah, I'm starting to wonder about you two. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say you was a couple of gay boys. Bob. We've known each other a long time, yeah? I trust you more than any other bloke I know. But you're getting dangerously close to crossing the line with me. If you've got a problem, then it's your fucking problem, not mine. But if you want to discuss it further, we can go outside. Beers, boys. Hey, Bob. Come on, it's your shot, mate. Hey, come. Fuck all that. Come on with a game, mate. Pete, nice shot. Yo, watch that. Get him. Everything all right, mate? I can't believe that you came all this way and you didn't even stay the night. I just didn't want to mess anything else up for you. Oh, you didn't mess anything up. So, you and Steve are okay? Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. All right. Well, I'll call you from Pete. Matt? Please, don't go. It's just, you know, Steve feels so horrible about what happened, and he really wants you to stay with us, and so do I. I don't want you to stay with Pete. Well, I want to stay with Pete. You know, Pete and his thug friends aren't the answer. What are you talking about? What answer? <laughs> it's just, you know, I've, I've been begging you to come and visit me for the last three years, and you, you didn't even come to my wedding, and... It's just you don't know my husband, and you haven't even held your nephew, and you show up on my doorstep yesterday, and you're leaving already, and... Well, look who's talking. I mean, you ran to another fucking country after Mom died. I'm sorry. Are you coming visit me? Yeah, of course. Jeremy Van Holden? Sounds like a cunt. Mate, if he'd done that to me, I'd smash seven shades of shit out of him. <laughs> Sounds like these Harvard boys are sleep your throat in your sleep. What was you studying? Before this geezer stitched you up. History. History? I teach history. You teach? Yes, cheeky slag, history and PE. What, do you think the GSE paid a bloody wage? Mate, I'm smart as fuck. Come on, it's grass monkeys out here. Class, today we have an extraordinarily distinguished guest. Mr. Buckner is an American who went to the finest university in the United States, Harvard. But despite his prestigious education, Mr. Buckner still thinks that baseball is better than football. Oh, I know, boys. It's an utter sin. Now, it's our job to save this even from his evil ways and teach him what really matters in life. And that is... Football! Exactly. We're going to play five a side. Mr. Buckner will be goalie for the away colours. Now, go easy on him, boys. You know how these Americans bruise. So how do we keep this fair? I should let every other ball go through or something? I wouldn't worry about that, man. Boy. You ready?
thanks to some pathetic goalkeeping from the away keeper. All right, get yourselves changed, boys, all right? Flight. Flight. That's what I call a real ass whipping. Oh, set me up. That was like the Junior Olympic football team, right? No, mate, just regular English boys. I'll tell you what, we've got history next. Why you come say a few words about the American War of Independence or something? They get a kick out of you in it from a real life colonial. Well, American history isn't really my specialty. Mate, they're ten. Teach them whatever you want. Well, I, I sort of have plans with Shannon this afternoon, so. All right, fuck you then. We'll have a beer later, yeah? Yeah, yeah, see you at the pub. All right, mate. Who are you? Who are you? But these kids, he set me up, man. Oh, I'm in there. I'm in there. Son, all right. I'll say one thing for you. You've got some fucking front shine your face over this side of the water. Do you know there's plenty of people around here love to kick your fucking ass given half the chance, son? There's four of them stood over there. Fucking right, son. So tell me, Bob, what's all this I'm hearing about your firm gone all fucking international? Eh? Don't you even fucking think about ignoring me, you little cunt. Now I said, what's all these bollocks I'm hearing about you having a little yank on the phone? It's only temporary. Temporary, eh? Do you think I might be able to get a bit of quiet here? I'm trying to have a fucking conversation. So, look at you, little bother. All grown up now, look. And where's your other little girl, uh, Petey. Petey? She at home, is she? Trying to get her little toes into the Major's big fucking shoes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess we was pretty small back then, son. Back in your day. You always did have a bit of bottle, you. So tell me, Bob. You come over to Millwall. Did you come alone? Excuse me a minute, Buff. <laughs> Hello. I'm Tommy. Tommy Hatcher. Yeah, I know. Oh, you know? Well, now you see, that's bad. That's really, really bad. Because now you ain't got no fucking excuse, have you? We're not keeping that shit cunt of yours quiet. Excuse me. George, you can't let him talk to me like that. George, your bird hasn't stopped fucking rabbiting since I've walked in here. Now, can I recommend that you shut her up? So I can continue my conversation with our guest there, Bother, of the once proud GSE firm. You can't tell me. Oh, oh my God! Do you see what she's doing? Do you see her a fucking stop this? That's enough! That's enough! I'll tell you when it's enough, son, all right? Yeah. Tommy, the pack is called the Elbow, mate. Come on, we best fuck off. Tommy, we best fuck off sharpish, mate. I'll see you again. Soon, Bob.
reckon I'll be back till tomorrow night. Be gentle with her. And remember, left, left side. side. Right. You seem nervous. Nervous? Fuck off. What's on your mind, then? Just two little words keep every hammer in England up all night. United away. Oi, oi! Aye, aye. Oh, mate, you all right? Yeah, right, mate. big man. Yeah, not bad. Hello, man. Not bad. Good. Hello, mate. Right, all right, thank you. <laughs> Where's Bother? Fuck knows. He's been a pain in the ass all week. He must have PMS. Pre-match stress. God, he's been right cunt at the minute, isn't he? Oh, come on, Pete. The train's in five minutes, man. Yeah, hang on. His fucking phone's off. Can't believe he's gonna pull a runner for United away. Yeah, they're gonna be gunning for you too, mate, after the job you pulled on their top boy last year. <laughs> <laughs> what happened last year? I might have gone a bit over the top. Yeah, just a bit. Where's Dave? You heard from him? You? Oh, everything's just falling right into place, isn't it? I'll go. <laughs> nah, mate. <laughs> what? I'll go. You can't just go up there with I can swill. Look, no offense, mate, but we can't take passengers on this trip, all right? Go on, piss off. I'll give you a bell later. So, how many beds you reckon you're gonna turn up today? Fuck, that was enough. How's that? The 2.55 train to Manchester Express. Oi! What, lads? Sweet, mate. Bother? Yeah. I thought we agreed to meet in the car park. So I don't know why you're here. Look, Bob, if you want to play the wanker, that's fine with me. But leave it out so we've got to stay out the way. Right? You know what, mate? Sweet. Keith, Sweet. come on, boys. What are you talking about lending me money? Yes, Savage! <laughs> No, I'm not lending you any more fucking money. Fuck, I don't owe you anything. Sorry, I can't play the game. Do you know me? Oh. You never fucking paid for the last time you cut. You're taking a piss or what? <laughs> what are you doing here, man? I thought it was just the three of you. Oh, ain't that sweet? That's what, this your proper plan then, eh? I ain't going in with it fucking mug. Sit down, man. Come on, man. Hell up, man. Come on, 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 it's like 40 of them not waiting here, all getting very fucking excited. So, right, listen. Fuck. Right, Bob. Did you hear that? Yeah, man. Made them waiting here for you. Don't roll into Manchester, do you hear me? All right, nice one. All right, ladies. We are fucked. What's happening? We're waiting for the station. What, they know we're on it? Yeah, must have had a scout watch this guy. How many? 40, 50. Uh, can't we just get off at the next station? No, nah, this is a fucking express train. Don't stop till Manchester. Is that right, bruv? Come on, come on, boys. We don't show up now, we'll claim the results. Nah, fuck that. We've got to get next station first. Are you insane? We're just going away. Oi, do you want to shut the fuck up? You shouldn't even be here. This is what it's all about. It's what we fucking live for. Fuck him. What right, is the plan. I call Dave, tell him what's happening. It's about 12 miles to Manchester. We need a couple of cabs immediately. Fuck! Where's all the fucking cabs? Pete. I got an idea. I thought I told you to shut up. Oh, fuck you, Barbara. You yeah. oh, Cut to that! Side. Fucking cut it out! What is it? these cunts. That train should have been here ten minutes ago. They'll be here soon enough, mate. There's no way off that train. Stay sharp, lads. And remember, Nigel gets that Dunham cunt all to himself. Nice. Nice one. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 
the fuck do you want? Oh, sorry, guys. We're with Paramount Pictures shooting the new Hugh Grant film. We gotta get this gear through. Hugh Grant film? Any decent women in it? Cameron Diaz, I think. I hope so. She's fit as yeah, fuck. Yeah. All right, lads, let this cut through. Thanks. <laughs> Give me 30 seconds, and I get the fuck out of here. died that day in Manchester. Everybody knew it, but we didn't. Ike said later that the story traveled across England faster than the death of Lady Di. The GSE were finally back. Suddenly, I was part of the firm with the best rep in London. People around town had heard of me. They would hear my accent and say, so you're the Yank. You know the best part? It isn't knowing that your friends have your back. It's knowing that you have your friends back. I'd never lived closer to danger, but I'd never felt safer. I'd never felt more confident, and people could spot it from a mile away. And as for this, the violence, I gotta be honest, it grew on me. Once you've taken a few punches and realize you're not made of glass, you don't feel alive unless you're pushing yourself as far as you can go. So what couldn't you tell me? I had to find out from your sister that you were expelled? Why didn't you call me? I did. The machine answered. You could have left a message. Well, I'm tired of having a relationship with your voicemail. You know what? I don't need this. Hey, Matt. Matt, come. Hey, come on. Shannon says you were set up. Is that true? Yes. But then why didn't you find me? Why didn't I find you? What's your fucking point? My point is this doesn't look good, Matt. You say that you're set up. You don't even contact your own father. We could have fought this together if you were innocent. If I were innocent? Yeah, if you're innocent, why didn't you ask for my help? Do you really think I'm a drug dealer? Obviously, I don't know. Yeah, but what do you think? I don't know. Well, that's why I didn't find you. Of course you don't know what to think. You don't really know anything about me. So you, uh, you came to England? Yeah. Okay, what now, Matt? What's the plan? What do you really want? That's just a question. Listen, Carl, do you really expect me to unburden myself to you? You just show up and decide you're the dad again? Look, I, um, I have to go to the London Times. <laughs> you're unbelievable. You know that? Is there someone I'd like you to meet? I'm not five years old anymore. It takes a little bit more to manipulate me. 
It's an old friend from my Tribune days. I thought... But you thought all it takes is a handshake from the editor of the Times and I'll have my old life back? It's just a free lunch. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the quarter-final draw for the Football Association Cup. The oldest and most prestigious tournament in world club football. Fortunately, today, we have with us the West Ham legend, Mr. Frank McAvenny, and chairman for our sponsors, Mr. Phil Peters. As usual, the home team will be drawn first. Frank. Number two. Number two. Cardiff City will play... Number three. Number three, Liverpool. Yes. Number seven. Seven, Sunderland will play number six. Number six, Newcastle United, bit of a North East Derby. Yes. Number eight. Number eight, West Ham United will play number five, Millwall. Fucking yes! 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 We got him, mate. We'll grab this kid, go off. Oi, 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 oi. You're not gonna believe what I've just seen walk into the Times. What? Who? Oh. A little yank, mate. I fucking knew it. I knew there was something dodgy about that little cunt. Yeah, mate, you sly. Yeah, I'll tell you what, pick me up after work. All right, mate, all right, I'll see you after work. Sweet. You know, your sister's worried sick about you. She says you're running around with some kind of gang. It's not a gang, Dad. They're my friends. Or are you at least writing about it? Am I writing about it? No. Hey, Matt, listen. I want you to come home with me. What? No, look, you may not trust me as your father, but as a fellow journalist, I'm telling you, your reputation is all you have. You've got to get back to Harvard. You've got to clear your name. We can... We can fight it together. Oh, forget it, Dad. I'm not going home. Jesus. Look, if it makes you feel better, I am keeping a journal. It's one thing you taught me I held on to. I knew that. I was just making sure. <laughs> hey, Steve. How you doing? Good to see you. Good to see you. Matt? Hey. Listen, I'm gonna get changed. What time's your flight? Oh, you take your time. My cab will be here about half an hour, so, uh, I have to say farewell to my grandson anyway. I, I gotta take off, Dad. Oh. Okay, Mac. <sighs> Look, I know things have not been... Great to see you. How you doing? Good. So you'll be celebrating the draw with the lads then? The draw? Wait, who did we get? We don't know. Oh. Oh, come on, Steve. Who? No wall. At home. Just watching my dad playing with Ben. He's already a better grandfather than he ever was a dad. You know, he seems like a decent bloke now. For a bloody journey. <laughs> mm. So he was an arsehole when you were growing up. Guess that's why neither of you joined the old man's racket. What do you mean? You know, followed in his footsteps. What are you talking about? Matt did. What do you mean? Matt was always a little more fascinated with our absentee father than I was. Sean, what do you mean Matt did? 
No, that's what Matt studied at Harvard. He was a journalism major. I just really hope that he gets back to it. You know, once he gets your brother out of his system. So he's a yank and an undercover journal. Looks like we'll have to give the boy two funerals. A boy from the land of apple pie Dropped in a culture of an eye for an eye We're up for combat and beyond that Sky News News at 10 are beyond that Steve, what are you doing here? I want to work with you outside. What happened? Is Shannon okay? Yes, yeah, Shannon's fine. Why didn't you tell me? Steve huh? Dunham just walked Why didn't you tell me you're doing journalism? God, I quit. Jesus, what difference does it make? Well, listen, mate, to some people, it makes a huge difference. Well, what would you know about that? Listen to me. I like you, but you have no idea what you're getting into. Now, I've got to tell my brother that his new best mate is a journalist. So me and you are going outside now. Charged! Stevie Dunham, back in the Abbey after all these years. Welcome home, Major. The Major! Major! Doing it. He ain't here. No. He's a fucking undercover journo. What? Nah, bollocks. Uh, straight, mate. I see him down the times with all the other journalists, shaking hands and all that. I mean, proper pally. What's all that about? Think about it. Chops in out of nowhere, never been in a scrap in his life, snugs in nice and tight with a top boy at the firm. For fuck's sake, Pete, what else was he doing at the times? Nah, that means fuck all. Could be in any one of a hundred reasons he was down there. Yeah, well, this time I'll have to make sure of that myself. You sure of this, bub? Because if you're coming in here like this, you fucking well better be. Yeah, watch that, son. What, this is, is it? Yeah. Yeah? The fuck is this? Hey, Keith, you know about all this computer stuff. Have a look. Ah, what's this? Fucking cunt. Here we go. First match, West Ham v Birmingham, home. Pete brought me to the Bridget Abbey pub on Walsh Road, his main hangout, and introduced me to his gang. I'm looking with a fucking gang there. Yeah, I'll make you go up. <sighs> Bother is Pete's thuggish right hand man. Keith, he sort of bothers in falsa. <laughs> you happy now? We're all in here. You didn't say nothing about me. Wait. I'll put some clothes in. So you were the major? I was the major. I guess the sum was still on. That Terry here was my right-hand man back in the glory days. That was a long time ago, then, mate. How did you get out of it? Well, I was a crazy bastard back then. All I fucking cared about was my reputation amongst the firms of England. I mean, you've heard all the stories about Millwall, yeah? Last match I went to was Millwall West Ham. We're talking a good ten years ago. I mean, we've been waiting for this match all year. At Millwall, yeah, stepping into their ground, completely outnumbered. We were fucking wired from the start. Now, Tommy Atcher, he was their main man back then. He used to bring his 12-year-old boy to the grounds. 
Tommy Jr. Always banging on how he brought this kid up, you know, to be like a little pit bull. But we lost that match. 3-0. And those Millwall cunts started laughing at us. And I just fucking snapped. I mean, I couldn't let it lie, you know? So I assembled all our troops and we hunted them down. I saw that little lad go down. And I saw his skull get crushed under the boots of the GSE. I never went to another match after that. And I left the Major behind. And that's when I met your sister. She was my angel. She really saved me. Showed me a new life. Don't we forget all this bollocks. And she swore she'd leave me if I ever returned to it. And when it comes back to me, and believe me, mate, it fucking does that madness. I mean, when I hear, you know, the... the roar of the stadium on match day, yeah, all the lads calling me down here to get pissed at me fucking treat. When I think of that, I think about getting back into it. With Shannon and Ben, they remind me. There's more to life than all this. Get all those juicy details, mate. Writing it all down. What? You fucking journal! You sure you know what you're doing here? It's fucking undercover! Don't tell him nothing! I said, are you sure? What? You already knew. All I know is he studied journalism right at Harvard, but he's dropped out. We found his journal, full of stories about all of us. It's just a fucking diary. Ned saw you at the Times with a couple of journals. That was my dad. He's the journalist. You knew that. <laughs> Your man's a fucking journal, and you knew about it. Look, that don't mean nothing yet, Bob. You what? He studies to be a journal. His old man is a journal. What's the fucking difference? You let one of them get in with us. I wasn't trying to get anything. You shut up! I don't care who he is or what he's done. You don't do someone on the deck. What's fucking wrong with you, eh? He's gonna bury us all in white. He's gonna sit down and watch him do it. Nah. Nah, Steve. You're the major. You started this firm. I'm speaking for all the boys here when I say we've got the biggest ruck of our lives coming up and your brother's too much of a bold job to lead us. The GSC is Pete's farm, all right? He calls the shots. Yeah? Well, fuck the lot of you. GSC? Get a fucking way! Move! Get yourself cleaned up. Tommy! This is it, mate. We're finally gonna get back at those fucking hammer cunts, eh? Come on, boys. Come on. Sweet. That's it. Do as you told you, mug. Fuck off. <laughs> Bother. You know we're going to have to stop meeting like this, don't you, son? People are going to start to talk. So what are you doing up so late anyway on a fucking school night? Shouldn't you be at home with the rest of your pals all shitting out of the four of us turning you over? <laughs> <laughs> what, you had a lover's tiff? Well, what do you want, bud? Fucking Yanks and undercover journal. 
<laughs> He's out of bozo now. Tom got to give him a chop. He's got a meeting out of the palm of his hand. What makes you think that I want to sort it out for you? Eh? Some majors there too. Stevie Dunham's in. Oh, thanks, Pete. Shut up! It's just shooting my ass. Who the fuck are you? Look, I'm sorry I lied about being a history major, but that's it. I'm not a journalist. Well, it don't look fucking good, does it, Matt? Why are you keeping a record? It's just a journal. I've kept that my entire life. Are you working for the Times? No. Look, I'm telling you the truth. You've got to trust me, Pete. Mate, you've put me right fucking in it. If I don't convince those boys that the head of their firm was not just taken by a fucking yank journo, the GSE is done. So I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna tell them that Bob's got it wrong and that you're one of us. And I had better be fucking right. you want to tell us? Listen, Tom, please, this is how it's got to go down. <laughs> Fuck you, Bob! Afraid you're the only one going down, little bother. <laughs> Grass. <laughs> Fuck! This shit with bother could tear this firm apart. Mate, I need you. Stay with us just for a minute. I'm not going to help you. I made a promise to my wife and kids, all right, and I'm sticking to it. You know, there comes a time when the best reputation you can have is the one where you found it. What is it? Fucking happy out all these years. Oh, Tommy. Tommy, I'm done with all this, mate. Retired, did ya? Got yourself a yank wife, did ya? Had a son of your own, did ya? Listen. I had a son once. I know. Do you I'm remember sorry. him? Do you fucking remember I'm him? Sorry. It's too late. Oh. Oh, you oh. No. Too late. Oh. Oh. You listen to me, Tommy. You die tonight, and me and you are even.
Trust in that. You always said trust in lads was my problem, Bob. I trust lads too much. Trust the Yank too much. This is how you prove your point? Backstabbing me. Teaming up with Tommy Hatcher to kill the Major? Kill my fucking brother? Well, Tom, just say the word, and I'll do it. I don't need you for that. I don't need you for anything anymore. <laughs> Shannon. She said that she's gonna be okay. She said it's just gonna take a little time. We're leaving tomorrow. It's not safe for us here now.
is hanging in. Which one now? You let Tommy know I want to straighten her. Tomorrow. All right. We finish this once and for all. Somewhere quiet. Away from old Bill. Oh, your mate still wants security at Trinity Wharf. Yeah. Galdeman, set it up. Sure. flight to Boston. You can't leave him. He was trying to protect us. You can't do this to him, Shannon. Yes, she can. She has to. So should you. I'm going with you to that wharf tomorrow. <sighs> Jesus Christ. They crash our pub. They put your brother in the hospital. That ain't your problem anymore. The fuck are you talking about? I've got just as much at stake here as you do. Matt, listen to me. It's time to go home. I don't know where my home is anymore. I think we both know where it ain't. Mate, this is my fight. It's my brother in the hospital. I'll take care of Tommy. Go on, mate. thing, Matt. Yeah. <sighs> you 
You know that back home, nobody's gonna care about your rep here. You know that, right?
peace in the twilight. At least one of you done them cunts are gonna pay for my fucking point. And for a moment, a more. It was a world without danger. A world without war. Now my brother never could turn out of his scrap being on me, bro. Any good Cause we are one flesh One breath One life One life Shut him! Shut him! You know, Tommy, that's Steve Dunham's wife. Tommy, who says that talk? Do you know what he'll do to her? He's a fucking animal! Hello, love. Mouth! What a living fucking car! Let me hear you slag! I'll smash his fucking window in! I'll smash his fucking window! Are you okay? Is Ben okay? Yes, Boy, you want to make up for what you've done? Get my brother's family out of here. Tommy! Then you want to finish me off, then? You already finished, little Petey. The NTO will take care of you in a minute, you mug. We didn't kill your son, Tommy! You did! You should have protected him, mate! He was your son! Don't you talk about my he fucking was your son! son Don't Tommy. talk about my fucking son! Get the fucking Don't motor! Me. Get in the fucking car! Don't leave a poor little woman! His face was all buttered and torn! He made me feel sick! I hit him with a brick! Now the cunts! Not laughing or singing! No more! He's not laughing or singing! That's it, it's enough! Fuck! Ah, Hang on! Fuck, I'll get us out of here! Go! You can't leave it! Hey! Hey! Fucking help him! Pete Dunham's life taught me there's a time to stand your ground. His death taught me there's a time to walk away. I would never have the chance to thank him, but I could live in a way that would honor him.
It's too much. Well, congrats on the Epstein account, Van Holden. That should be a nice commission. I bet your father's election had nothing to do with it. Fuck you very much, Todd. <laughs> Gentlemen, if uh, you will excuse me, I must partake once again in this restaurant's fine facilities. <laughs> Fucking lucky bastard. You look like shit. Hey, Buckner, do you mind? You said you'd hook me up. What? I took the fall for you at Harvard. You said you'd hook me up. You gotta be kidding me, man. They were your drugs, and you said you had more to lose, and that you'd hook me up. If All right. Yes, I said I would hook you up. Jesus, man, I, I'm in a meeting right now. Call my office, talk to Cindy, she'll make an appointment for you. You gotta be joking me, spineless shit. That you'd hook me up if All I... right, yes, I said. What the fuck is this? This? It's my ticket back to Harvard. Give me that. I wouldn't do oh. that. Oh. Oh. Bubbles in the air, they fly so high, they reach the sky, and like my dreams, they play and die. Fortune's always fighting, I'm looked everywhere. I'm from above with bubbles, bringing bubbles in the air. You know what I said? You know what I said? Once 
defiance and do our reliance in these wars. We see the probable causes, most of our killing. But what about the ones not willing and the ones who was children? We supposed to be building a better day for tomorrow. I feel like we climbing the mountain, biggest killing me, child. If you feeling the sorrow, you know that your heart is in hollow. I'm ready to lead a new mission. Are you ready to follow? I swallow government interests, so their excuses devour. While corporations killing millions with abuses of power. I refuse it to sour, to just stand by and be quiet. But I'm curbing my urge to serve these motherfuckers a riot. We gotta question the weapon used for repping up in our habitat. The pen is mighty, or why do you wanna go and grab a gap? The goal is evolution, but it has to be passive. Start with the health of self, the passive mental wealth to the massive. Rep yourself, rep your fam, rep your health, then rep your clan. The real test of a man is to put down his hands and we can be united, cause if we divide it, we damn. So I can smile off your face, so pull it out and grab it. Hey, you grab it, you run away, run away. 